Hello and welcome to Tasting with Mike and Matt. I'm Mike Veach and this is my partner in crime, Matt Kohorst. Howdy. And today we are going to taste Blum Brothers bourbon. This was sent to me. Uh, uh, it's a uh, bourbon made in Galena, Illinois. And it's a hundred proof. I'm not sure if it says it's bottled and bond, but uh, it's uh, interesting. Black label has, you know, Mike Blom and Matt Blom and their signatures. Uh, uh, I do believe that this was, yeah, distilled and bottled by, so it probably is a bottled and bond, considered. Uh, it doesn't have the... It does, well, maybe not. Maybe, maybe they put some five-year-old or something in it and didn't, you know, or different ages and didn't... Uh, Okay. Yeah, you know, it's a possibility. But they, they distilled it? They distilled 100 it. 100 proof. 100 proof. No age statement, so at least about four years, right? At least four years. I, I tasted this with Susan for our tasting book the other day, and I was rather pleased with it. I think you will be too. Illinois. Okay. Illinois. Illinois used to be, have a lot of good distilleries. And I'm glad to see a lot of them are coming back. It's got a nice nose. Mm -hmm. Lots of vanilla. Citrus. A little, a little citrus, a little corn. A little corn. A little oak. And there's some spice in there too, but I'm trying to decide, is that cinnamon? Is that nutmeg? Is it something else all together? Oh, like that white pepper. White pepper. It's got a little, yeah. Yeah. So let's taste it. That's nice. Uh, vanilla and that citrus nice. really jumps out. Mm -hmm. But I also get like a little raspberry. A little raspberry. It's a fruity. Yeah, it's very fruity. fruity. Yeah. And definitely white pepper on the taste. Mm -hmm. A little oak. I, I like this. It's sweeter. Yeah, I'm enjoying this one. And, and you gotta like their names here. You know, yeah. their distillers are Mike and Matt. Oh man, perfect names. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So let's try it with uh, uh, a cranberry. All right. It kind of dampens down the the fruitiness. It does. But it brings out the vanilla, mm -hmm. maybe even a little bit of a milk chocolate. Milk chocolate, yeah. A little more oak, and that white pepper's still there. White pepper's still there, yeah. Very smooth finish. Um, getting just a hint of citrus at the end, but yeah, it's taking yeah, out like the, that resin yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah the, the fruit is coming out more in the end, the finish. Mm -hmm. But in the taste, it's not there. This is this is very nice, you know. It's it's complex enough, you mm. know. Right now, is this something that um, you said they sent you this bottle, right? Mm -hmm. Is this something that you can find in the stores right now, or I think I saw it out at Westport the other day, so I'd say you probably can. You probably can, okay. Because I feel like I, you know, when I peruse the uh, the liquor store, it's like I think I've seen that name, but I've never picked up a bottle. So. Yeah. Let's see what pecan does. That almost tastes like milk chocolate, raspberry, mm -hmm. a little tart. Mm -hmm. a in nice a good tart. way. Yeah. yeah, in a good way. Very nice tart. Almost like a raspberry tart. It yeah. like takes yeah. the pecan takes all the corn out of it completely. Yeah, I still get a lot of vanilla, a little bit of chocolate. Like I said, a little little raspberry, a little bit of that orange peel, citrus. Yeah, and then some oak, and then on the finish, it's like you, what what's what it cuts down on, which surprises me, is the white pepper. It's still there, but it's not as dominant as it was yeah, with. It's the, not quite as spicy, is it? No. Yeah. And usually, you know, 
uh, a lot of people ask why we taste it with cranberries and pecans. You know, we do the cranberries because we want to see what concentrated sugar does to it. Mm -hmm. And we taste it with the pecans because we want to see what the, tan the tannins in the nut does to it. And usually the tannins really enhance the spice in the wood. But in this case, it kind of took it out. Kind of took it out a little bit. Which, you know, I think with the added tartness and everything, I, th I think that... Uh didn't really bother me too much. No. You know? No, this is a really good whiskey. Mm hmm I agree. So all I gotta say is uh Mike and Matt Blum from Mike and Matt. Cheers. Good Delicious. job.